let me do some tutorials here based on the previous procedure that I have shown you in the previous lecture that how to solve a standard linear differential equation here we go example number one y prime plus 2x times y equals to 2x times e to the minus x squared. This is our given expression solution. Uh, it is a linear standard form of differential equation. When you compare with the standard form of linear equation, uh, our p of x is 2x and q of x is 2x times e to the minus x squared. Step 1. To find the integral factor, i equals to e to the integral of p of x dx. Just substitute the value of p of x, which is 2x. After integration, i equals to e to the x square, because integral of 2x is x square. This is the final value of in step 1 for integral factor. Now, step 2. To find the general solution. Yeah, the formula for the general solution is y equals to 1 over integral factor times the integral of integral factor times q of x dx plus c. Substitute the value of integral factor. Whatever you get in step 1, just substitute that value for the i. The integral factor value is e to the x square. Just substitute it here. q of x is obviously 2x times e to the minus x square. Moving ahead, solve it further, and we have now y equals to 1 over e to the x square integral of e to the x square times 2x times e to the minus x square dx plus c. Can I add the power of x square to the minus x square? because they both have base e. They have similar base and that is the reason we can add the power. Integrate it. After integration I have y equals to 1 over e to the x square x square plus c because integral of 2x is x square. We just pull this e to the x square up to the numerator to have e to the minus x square. y equals to x square times e to the minus x square plus c why we replace c times e to the minus x squared by only c it is an arbitrary constant whether you take the value of c in negative or whether you multiply it by any value at the end it is an arbitrary constant so if you put c times e to the minus x squared or only c it is one thing and therefore we don't need e to the minus x squared with the c so this is the final value for the general solution in step two example number two y prime plus 5y equals to 5. Solution. y prime plus 5y equals to 5 is a standard linear differential equation. Just compare it with the formula here. y prime plus p of x times y equals to q of x. p of x is 5. It is a constant. It's not an x term. If you remember in introduction I have mentioned that you can take p of x a constant as well as q of x which is also a constant, but make sure it should not be a dependent variable. It can be x or it can be a constant. Step 1. To find the integral factor. i equals to e to the integral of p of x dx. Substitute the value of p of x which is 5. And integrate it after integration we got the final value of integral factor which is i equals to e to the 5x. Step 2. To find the general solution, the general solution formula is y equals to 1 over integral factor times integral of integral factor times q of x dx plus c. Substitute the value of integral factor here and q of x. The integral factor value is e to the 5x and q of x is obviously 5. So y equals to 1 over e to the 5x times e to the 5x plus c. And here is the final value for the general solution. Let me do one final tutorial of a linear differential equation. Example number 3. y prime minus 1 over x times y equals to 5x square. And if I give the initial condition which is y of 2 equals to 4. This is the initial condition for the given expression. Solution. It is a standard linear differential equation. Compare it with the formula p of x is minus 1 over x and q of x is 5x squared. Step 1. To find the integral factor. Integral factor equals to e to the integral of p of x dx. Substitute the value of p of x which is minus 1 over x. Integral of minus 1 over x is minus natural log x. 
which equals to initial log x to the minus 1. And finally, I got i equals to 1 over x. Now, the question is that how we change minus natural log x to the natural log x to the minus 1. There are simple logarithmic property here. If there is a constant in front of natural log x, this constant will become the power of x at the right side. And the same thing applies here. a equals to minus 1. It is not only minus, it is minus 1 in front of natural log x, but we don't write the 1. The constant is minus 1. And it simply became the power of x, x to the minus 1, based on this logarithmic property. And the other question is that how we change natural log x to the minus 1 to x to the minus 1? How we cancel the natural log x term? Again, there is another logarithmic property. Natural log x actually equals to natural log base e x. But normally you don't see the base e. You just simply write natural log x. Now, can I say that e to the natural log x to the minus 1, which is here, equals to e to the natural log base e x to the minus 1? Yes, you can write. Now, logarithmic property says that e will be cancelled with natural log sub e. The inverse process of e and natural log sub e will undo or cancel each other and we're left only with x to the minus 1. And that is the reason we have i equals to x to the minus 1. And this is the final value for the integral factor in step 1. Step 2. To find the general solution. Substitute the value of integral factor which was 1 over x. This is the value of integral factor that we calculated in step 1. Just substitute it here. And obviously q of x was 5x squared. How we shifted x from 1 over 1 over x? If I have 1 over 1 over x, can I write equals to 1 over x to the minus 1? Yes. And then can I write it equals to x? This x to the minus 1 will go to the numerator. And therefore we have x for 1 over 1 over x. Solid further and finally I got y equals to 5 over 2 times x cubed plus cx. And here we can't stop the final answer because the initial condition was given if you remember in the beginning. So based on the initial condition I'm going to find the value for c. And I will substitute the value of c here. Initial condition was y of 2 equals to 4. 2 is the value of x and y equals to 4. So substitute the value of x equals to 2 and y equals to 4 in this equation. Wherever there is y, substitute 4. For the x, substitute 2. After substitution, we have 4 equals to 5 over 2 times 2 to the 3 plus c times 2. And finally, we get the value for c, which is c equals to minus 8. This is the value for c, which is an arbitrary constant. Just substitute c equals to minus 8 here. And I have y equals to 5 over 2 times x cubed plus minus 8 times x. So this is the final value for the general solution in step 2.